the forces of nature are back in raids this month, specifically their three Therian forms. And not only that, each of them return with their respective signature moves that debuted in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We'll be breaking down all three, but for today, we're starting off with Tornadus and its signature attack, Bleak Wind Storm. Welcome back everyone. The winds are blowing because Tornadus is returning to raids with its signature move. While these three are returning in their Therian forms, we'll still talk about how good both forms are with their signature moves. At the time of this video, we aren't sure if the incarnate forms will get these moves via Elite TM, or if they'll get them at a later date. But starting off with the raiding side of things, Bleak Wind Storm is a 1 bar, 140 power move, and that combo has the potential to be really good. Just look at Meteor Beam with its insanely fast cooldown. But unfortunately, Bleak Wind Storm isn't nearly as fast with a duration of around 2.5 seconds. This makes for a move that is still pretty good, but nothing amazing. And while we'll talk about them in their respective videos, Wild Bolt Storm and Sand Seer Storm have the same stats as well. But will this move help Tornadus for raids? Well, for the Therian form that will actually be appearing in raids, not really. This form has a bit more bulk, but a rather underwhelming 238 attack stat. By comparison, Staraptor may have a slightly lower attack, but it has the vastly superior charged move of Fly. The incarnate form of Tornadus, though, has the higher attack stat at 266, but does this move help it out much? Overall, it's not too impressive. It sits around the level of a non-Shadow Staraptor, which is still decent, but in the age where Shadow Flying types exist, and also Oblivion Wing Eveltal and Dragon Ascent Rayquaza, it's not really competitive. If you have a good one that you want to use, it's not a poor flying attacker by any means, but your resources could be better saved for other things. On the PvP front though, the move is a lot different. Where the move is a 100 energy 1 bar move for raids, it's a much cheaper 45 energy for PvP. And while the power is underwhelming at 60, it's made up for with the guaranteed attack debuff to the opponent, making this a clone of moves like Lunge, Icy Wind, and Mystical Fire, all of which are excellent for PvP. Unfortunately though, I really can't recommend Tornadus for PvP even with this move. Tornadus Therian's extra bulk makes it a bit more fit for PvP, even in the Master League, but neither stats are really that impressive to begin with, and its moves aren't very competitive at all. Bleak Wind Storm may be a great move, but it's not enough to overcome all of Tornadus' shortcomings in either form. So overall, Tornadus is a bit of a dud, even with Bleak Wind Storm. It's a usable flying attacker, but not much more than that. Will Thunderous or Landorus fare any better with their signature moves though? As a little teaser, yes, but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those videos in the next couple of weeks. And if you like this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and lets us know what kind of content you enjoy. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.